looking forward. It's the last one of the year um, for the BRC, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, so we've got two stages on tarmac tonight, and then uh, we go on the gravel tomorrow. So it'll be quite tricky uh, to learn the surface change, but hopefully we can get through tonight cleanly and have a new day tomorrow. And two left, into one right, 80, two right, okay. Uh, yeah, so tricky first night. Uh, we're on gravel setup, so the tarmac was quite interesting. But uh, no, we're only I think nine seconds off uh, off the lead. So no, we'll we'll do it all tomorrow. Not much time in service. So, um, but no, we were busy boys. Thanks to the boys, it was a good job. But uh, no, I think uh, we had a little bit of brake fade in the in those two. So we got that sorted now. We've got the brakes spread and hopefully all good to go tomorrow. Very hard on the notes, aye. Especially on gravel setup as well, the car was moving quite a lot, so... No, by the second stage through we got quite a good rhythm going and... Uh, no, looking forward for tomorrow now. Probably didn't see that. That was some big air from our junior BRC front runner, Johan Lloyd, just coming in to the time control here. Big commitment over the jump, big commitment over the flying finish in the Peugeot 208 Rally 4. Johan, some serious commitment through uh, the flying finish over there. It sounded great, it looked great. How was the rest of the stage? Uh, that was much better. Uh, the first stage, I struggled with visibility, same for everyone, but uh, my eyes are about eight years old, not 20, I think. But uh, no, that was a better feeling in there, for sure, but Good. more to do. No dramas this morning? No, no dramas, just the driver needs to wake up. Oh, come on, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. It was good, it was just a steady run. And uh, yeah, Pen Machno, I really enjoyed that. I think it was fastest by 18, I think, to Johnny, so hopefully we can manage that gap to uh, this afternoon. Uh, I don't know whether the last one's going to be dark, so we've just put a lamp on in. But no, that's about it. Car's behaving good, so hopefully we can make it to the finish. Yeah, fairly, fairly triple three to be honest. Um, no, enjoyed the stages. Very slippy out there, but it's nice to have a bit of a challenge. Yeah, he's done brilliant. Yeah, yeah, I've really enjoyed this year with him. It's been a learning curve, curve for us both, and I think we both progressed along with each other well. Stay long, two right and three right. Yeah, we had a really good morning loop, but unfortunately uh, Shaft ended up our hopes of a first JBRC win. We had a lead of just over a minute, so a lot of positives to take away from the weekend for sure. I really enjoyed inside the car, it was brilliant. Uh, we clicked really well today. Uh, the boys did a brilliant job in service. Um, 
just been unlucky and uh, it's been a, a year of ups and downs but for sure we've, we've uh, got a lot of positives to take away from this season, uh, our debut season in BRC uh, and we've shown some good pace so I'm really really happy with how it's turned out and hopefully we can have a better year next year. I'd just like to say a, a big thanks to all our sponsors, uh, especially the John Easton Award, they've been a critical part of our campaign this year. Uh, I'm looking forward to 2023 and seeing what that brings.